Namaste. Uh, this is my ninth tutorial um, as the continuation of the uh, Monte Carlo integrations. And in this tutorial, I will be talking about the uh, application of Monte Carlo integration in, in two dimension or in three dimension. Okay. In, uh, in this video, I, I will talk only about the two-dimensional Monte Carlo integration. You can extend this idea for three-dimensional and uh, Monte Carlo integration. Previously, as you saw um, previous video, that we can do Monte Carlo integration uh, by using um, this method. Okay, in the first part, uh, we will give uh, inputs uh, a as the lower integration, b as the upper limit of integration. Yan as the <coughs> okay this was the way of um, uh, this is the way of uh, one dimensional Monte Carlo integration we gave uh, two values lower limit of uh, that integration and upper limit of integration but in two dimensional integration we do have two lower limit of integration and two upper limit of integration so we will add input in here uh, and rest of all is same process uh, we will define function f of x comma y in the two dimensional integration exactly mm, same as uh, we did in the previous uh, one dimensional integration everything is same mm, except this lower and upper limit of integration and we will uh, uh, have x as our variable as well as y as our variable in two dimensional integration okay first of all let us see the question uh, this would be our question uh, to find integration function would be x square y cube and we want to find integration of this function uh, within interval 0 to 2 in x variable and within interval 1 to 5 in y, mm, inter, uh, y variable uh, so to do this let us start coding in Fortran for that you already know this Monte Carlo integration example dot f90 would be our name of file uh, sorry we would open this in genie as well so uh, clear oh sorry Oh, um, clear okay so gini uh, say int um, example dot f90 would be the name of our file uh, and gini will open and yes everything is same okay so we will start our program uh, name would be example and yes we will end the program and we will define function first a real function f of x and this would be the end of our function we define sorry we are doing two dimensional integration so function would be of x as well as y so let us define the variable here x and y as our real and function would be what's the question yes x square y q would be our function x uh, square into y q okay so this is the function uh, and we defined uh, function now let us call that function first uh, define implicit none real external yes this is used for calling this function inside the program and now yes let us give input okay uh, to understand input first I will uh, denote uh, integration limits of x as a to b and I will denote integration limits of uh, y variable as c to d okay so first uh, <coughs> define that okay print um, 
welcome to the program by Mohan. Uh, this person will be the input, okay? So please insert a lower limit of x and computer will read as uh, a here uh, okay and this would be uh, the lower limit of x similarly uh, print um, insert the upper limit of x computer will read this as b okay so i should define a and b whether they are real or integer so uh, yes of course a and b are, should be a real okay so we defined two intervals a and b now c and d okay for our y so again we can copy this and modify this y to do a lot of works we should do work smartly and lower limit of not x this should be y and lower limit of upper limit of y this should be c upper limit should be d okay uh, we have not defined c and d here so uh, define c and uh, d as the real variable now let us uh, divide those intervals uh, in the random numbers so print please insert the value of so insert number of random num okay um, so yes this should be yarn right it Yarn. So computer will read this as yarn. So we inserted yarn and now input is complete. Now let us move to the um, programming. Well, first uh, we are going to generate random numbers. Okay. So um, for generating random numbers, as I explained in the previous video we should start do loop okay so i run from one to yarn and this is the format of do loop all right so first i'll uh, define p okay so this is the p and random number would be p p equals random number all right so this is p now now we we are going to change the Mm, interval uh, interval or lower limit and upper limit um, in, within this random number so uh, as I ex earlier explained in the previous video that we can change the limits of integration uh, with the help of random numbers by using this formula if we want to find the random numbers between a and b uh, then then uh, we can use this formula for instance x equals Oh, this is our variable x equals uh, a plus p plus p into uh, b minus a minus 1 okay so if you don't understand this check my previous video then you will understand it okay so uh, this is the uh, x that I generated uh, in the interval from a to b now I will generate random numbers from interval C to D as well. So I will modify this. Uh, here yeah, X will be changed to Y and A would be uh, changed to C and uh, B would be changed to D. Alright. So yes. So this is the random number uh, in between A to B and this is the random number between C to D. So uh, well you understood the variable x is generated this way variable y is generated this way in between a to b and c to d respectively now uh, 
you know the formula uh, the formula is of course uh, we can check from this um, textbook polyal div rights mm, yes this is the formula so we want to uh, find the difference of the interval uh, divided by yarn into average of the function so first of all find average of the function yes okay so to find average no, we need to have some to find some as I am showing uh, earlier uh, we need to define some equal zero first then inside the Zulu uh, let us define some equals some plus function of x comma y uh, okay this is x this is y and this function will be used here okay how this works first of all some value of some would be 0 for i equals 1 so 0 plus f of uh, first random number in interval a to b and first random number in interval c to d so this will give function plus 0 and this will be the sum 1 for i equals 1 similarly for i equals 2 uh, this would be sum 1 plus again uh, functional value at second random number similarly for sum equals 3 this would be sum 2 plus etc so in this way summation is achieved okay this summation is achieved now after achieving this summation uh, we will uh, multiply that by difference in interval divided by n okay uh, yes so we do okay I have not introduced sum in here so let me introduce sum here uh, and then formula is yes integration equals uh, difference of interval b minus a there are two dimensions uh, two uh, difference in interval because it is two dimensional so d minus a okay Th these are the difference in interval multiplied by sum and divided by yarn yes. this is the formula function divided by yarn into difference in interval yes function divided by yarn into difference in interval this is the integration i should define integration as real parameter so integration okay this is how we can find integration now let us print this print the integrated value is integration okay so yes let us check it uh, function is defined inputs are defined random numbers and summation is defined and everything okay this is the answer and we print it here let us check whether we do have some errors uh, yux and y are not defined yes where is yux and y they are real parameters so it is necessary to define here as a real still i is not defined as integer everything integer because i is integer yon is integer so i should define it uh, i think it should be fine now yes so mm, okay we do have our question uh, what is the question okay interval for x is 0 to 2 interval for y is 1 to 5 okay so limit of x 0 to 2 and for y i forgot for y 1 to 5 1 to 5 so random numbers i want to generate uh, 10,000 1 lakh random 10 lakh random numbers and the answer is 753 okay so our true answer is uh, what is our true answer uh, wait the final answer let me check the final answer the exact value of integral is 416 so answer is quite different 0 to 2 and 1 to 5 x square y q uh, 0 to 2 1 to 5 and 10 lakh okay let, let me check it 
or what's wrong here mm, maybe the error is on the random numbers I have generated one random numbers uh, defined by P and I used uh, this random number uh, to find x variable as well as y variable so this might be uh, our problem so let us define another random uh, numbers q uh, equals random number it in zero to one and uh, we will define variable y with random number q instead of p so this is x this is y and I have introduced Q here so let us introduce Q as real variable and let's check our answer okay so um, okay before inserting the value what is the uh, yes limit x 0 to 2 and y 1 to 5 okay uh, yes okay so this is 0 to 2 uh, y is 1 to 5 right uh, random numbers I want to make 10,000 lakh 10 lakh random numbers so answer is 611 still that's not correct mm, okay let us mm, try whether it's uh, right or not in random numbers uh, function is x square y q x square into y q and oh here this is p I should uh, remove this p by q now this is fine so x is defined in terms of random number p and y is defined in terms of random number q uh, now I think it should the right answer so we have removed the errors okay lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 2 uh, for y lower limit is 1 upper limit is 5 so we want to generate uh, 10 lakh random numbers and the answer is 460 absolutely so <coughs> yes answer is 416 of course there are some sort of errors while doing calculation Mm, where is our answer terminal okay so 216.23 uh, is the answer that is obtained from the Monte Carlo integration and uh, 216 only by using manually or um, uh, analytically so this is how we can do two dimensional integration but make sure that uh, okay we got two errors from that uh, u and we can learn so many things see and uh, we should define separate random numbers for separate variables otherwise uh, it may not get the right answer okay so that's why uh, I used uh, P random numbers for our X variable and Q random numbers for our Y variable okay so uh, that is one point uh, to be noted and this is our uh, one can find the two dimensional integration using Monte Carlo integration. Thank you so much for watching.